Hi, I'm John Ellsworth with Success Strategies. I'm the founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I want to welcome you to today's presentation, which I've entitled A Solid Lesson on Leadership. Uh, one of my former classmates in my MBA program at Duke University, uh, Katie Bain, uh, recently spoke at one of the Duke um, Fuqua School of Business commencement addresses. and. I thought she delivered an excellent message, uh, and I want to share that with you. It's entitled, What It Takes to Be a Leader. Katie focused in uh, on many of her lessons from the corporate world as a former uh, top-level marketing executive at Coca-Cola, and I'm sure you have seen several and perhaps many of her successful campaigns during the Super Bowls of the last five years. And uh, they were really, she's really a, a success story herself. But I'd like to focus in on the things she talked about, the leading characteristics of solid leadership. And she described them as four Bs. Number one, she said you must be daring. Now please note, I did not say reckless. There is a difference between being reckless and being daring. But she said be daring. Even when you're following your plan, you have to shoot for the stars. And even if you fall somewhat short of the stars, you're still gonna be at a pretty high level of success. So number one, her number one point is be daring. Uh, number two, be understanding. I think sometimes, and I'm guilty of this as well, all of us as entrepreneurs and business owners, it's easy to forget when we're seeking our ultimate goals for the year or for the quarter or whatever time period you're measuring. It's really easy to forget that uh, we need to be understanding. Be understanding of your team. And because in many times, we don't know what they're going through. We don't know what they're going through in their personal lives, their home lives, or even their work lives. So be supportive of them and be understanding. Because remember, we all need them to hit our goals. We need our team to be on board with us. And so the best way to do that is to be understanding of their individual situations. Point number three that she makes is to be kind to others. Also known as what your mother and I said, let's don't be burning bridges behind us. And that's one analogy. But I think uh, recently I've heard some, some clients who commented about other vendors that darn, those vendors just don't seem to understand my situation. Don't they know how tough it is? Well, I'm sure if you analyze each and every one of those vendors, you will, you will find out that some do understand that, and some don't necessarily, and some probably don't even care. But the, but the key factor, the key element in all those vendors is that they also have a payroll to make. And if they don't collect the sales that they've made, they're gonna have some issues just like you would if you didn't get your milk check in any half of any given month. And unfortunately, that's happened a long time ago in the dairy industry, and people that went through that know how devastating that can be to a business. But remember, those vendors too have payrolls, they have bills to pay. So I would use that as one example of how we can be kind to other people. And the fourth point that Katie makes in her presentation is to be energetic. Now there are two ways to be to either be energetic or to be just slovenly working through the day. And we all wanna be around energetic people. But I'll use the example of Coach K, who is the head basketball coach for probably 35 years at Duke. Very successful coach. He describes the audience or the crowd at Cameron Indoor Stadium where the Duke Blue Devils play basketball as the sixth man. What does he mean? There's five starters, there are five players on the basketball team, but he describes the Duke crowd as the six men. And the reason is because of their dynamic level. The dynamic level of noise and excitement and energy uh, that they exhibit at Cameron Indoor Stadium. As fans, I don't know if you're aware of this, but as fans, particularly in the student section, they only sit down when the Duke team sits down on the bench either during a timeout or when they go in for halftime. But I think that's pretty exciting. The key is they exhibit maximum energy. 
So point number four was be energetic. Um, so I have to ask you a question. Are you being daring? Are you being understanding in your business? Are you being kind to other people, including your vendors? And are you being energetic? Because if so, I can assure you there is no stopping your endeavor to succeed. I wish you the best of success this year. And I might also point out for those of you that aren't Duke fans or those that are, the daring, understanding, kind and energetic all start with the letters D, U, K, and E. So I'm going to put a little plug in for my alma mater, Duke University. I wish you the best of success. Again, I'm John Ellsworth, founder of Success Strategies Incorporated and the creator of the Success Strategies Advantage. And I wish you the very best of success this year. Thank you very much.